Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to day part two. How to produce like Alien Four? Let's go. All right, guys. So let's start to full listen to the track. That sounds like this. Really cool track, I like it. Now let's see the bass. So I'm going to start with the bass in the drop section. So last part we've reviewed how we created these drums and now today we're going to talk about this bass. So that's how it sounds like. That's the main bass, another synth bass layer, this step bass and the hoover bass. which sounds a bit a bit like Medusa because it's square wave and not so. Let's see. So this is the main bass. And how I created this bass. That's really, really interesting. Check this out. That's the original bass. One saw wave, filter closed. I've explained it a lot in the previous tutorials how to create this kind of bass. So this, that's the bass. Add a distortion from silent one. A bit more distortion. Saturn 2, really, really good. I like it. Like a uh, saturation. PsyQ, um, one of the best, best EQs ever. I think everything that you do with this EQ sounds good. Like, no matter if you boost, if you attenuate, everything just will sound good. So, just play with it. Mess around with this EQ, and you're gonna be next level producers. So, I, I, I've added dr uh, drive, high, mid range, and a bit, a bit of flows. Really good EQ, some more EQ and compression, and really really hard compression, a bit more highs, and a bit more lows, that's the EQ. A bit more lows, a bit more mid, and a bit more highs. Again, no EQ, and EQ on. No compression, and compressor on. A bit more EQ, more lows, more mid range and more highs that's without and we have so after i have added a lot a lot of flows i needed to clean it up a bit more so just cut everything under 42 hertz and i have a really really good and big bass if it's a main bass, if it's a sub bass, why to cut under 40? Because when it was like this at first and it didn't sound good with the kick. So if it sounds good, it sounds good. That's it. That's my point. Another more boost. Like low, low range boost, the lows and the mids. Next is chorus. This Brigade chorus by UED is that adds a lot to your bass sound. So just do it. Some reverb. EMT250 and one eighth dotted. Um, yeah, that what makes the bass sounds that good. Also this, check this out. So this is the, when it's only one note. And it's a pretty boring, so in order to take it to the next level and sounds much better. 
took the off bit up some just play with the notes that's it play with the notes that are from the chord not just uh, random notes so like this is chord F sharp minor so the notes of the chords are F sharp A and C sharp that's the notes I'm gonna play here in the in the bass in the roll bass same for the synth bass of course guys everything that you just heard like the stems and the presets the bass sounds the drums the atmospheres the effects everything including the stems and presets guys link is right here in the description make sure to grab your copy and we're gonna have the sound for yourself so this is the synth bass so square noise nothing here uh, what here is a bit more special is that I use more than one unison as I did in the main bass here's two unison for the main oscillator and three for the second and some EQ cut the lows this best EQ ever some more EQ compression some flanger to create movement and low cut some more FX together with the main bass together with the kick that sounds good yeah so next is this step bass this kind of FX Turn this out. So, just a um, really cool cut of envelope, and that's it. Some distortions, bass, big bass, nothing here on part B. A lot of decay, a lot of decay in the cut of filter, some distortion, that's it. For yourself, guys, you can add like more distortions if you want. Like this. And it's gonna sound even better. Um, yeah, so now we've got this. On top of that, we have the Super Bridge bass, which is kind of the same, just square wave, that's it. Different octaves, nothing on part B. Distortion, just same idea. Here I used more distortions, but it's not that matter. Again, chorus, no chorus, and chorus on, and chorus off, chorus on, all together, and that's the same bass for the for the breakdown. Just in the breakdown, I took this main bass and change a bit the envelope added a pitch envelope to create it more clicky added noise and then this is with no pitch and with pitch create this clicky sound cutoff is automated you can also do this also sounds good but i wanted one voice and yeah just took the slow cut a bit deeper that's it All the rest are just the same, the exact same. Added uh, one more layer, which is like this. Hoover bass, that you should know from my previous tutorials, how to create this sound. And yeah, that's it. And that's it for today, guys. I hope you liked it. Guys, make sure to grab your copy of the stems and presets that you just heard. That includes everything. Everything sounds from the kick, the bass, the rhythm, the atmospheres, FX, everything. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, enable the bell notification, that's gonna help me a lot. And see you guys on part 3. Bye bye.
And that is it for today, guys. See you on part three. Bye bye.